What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Octobeast video. Uh, today's a big day. Um, actually, peak over there. So it's been a few days, but I actually got a new truck. There's gonna be a lot more on that, but that's gonna open up a whole new realm of fishing, camping, everything. So I'm super stoked about that. But today's video is about getting another indoor pond, as you know by the title and thumbnail. Um, it's gonna be pretty sick, a another indoor pond. So we'll have two indoor ponds and we're gonna show you guys how to do it, how to set up a filter so you can do this at your own place and uh, let's get to it. All right, so we've made it to Tractor Co. And I, I believe they have, they call them livestock tubs. Uh, I've never done this for an indoor pond. I actually build mine typically, um, but uh, we're gonna see how this works and hopefully they got some, let's, let's go in. All right, so we made it outside at Tractor Co. And look at everything they have. So if you're not familiar familiar with Tractor Co., it's like for like farmers. I mean, for everyone, there's a bunch of stuff here. But all this stuff over here, which we're going to use as a pond, is actually meant for like livestock to eat out of. So like cows and pigs and sheep, they all eat out of this and use them as water bowls. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but so we're looking at the 150 gallon a little bit bigger so actually the reason for building a second pond is because my massive paku is beating up a bunch of fish in the pond and he's kind of just a jerk but i love him so i can't get rid of him so i'm putting him in a set his own spawn his own pond um and so this is 150 gallons i'd like to get him something a tad bigger but the next step is 300 gallons and that's just not going to fit anywhere so i think it'll be good in this it's a decent size um it looks like it's all holding water this one looks kind of bigger though. I can't tell. Oh, I think this is bigger. Oh, this might be more. All right, so I think this is 150 gallons. This is actually a good size. Like this is actually good for him. All right, so 150 gallons. And I think it's what, like 100 and... Yeah. 30 bucks? Yeah, like 130 or something. <laughs> Let's just walk around the whole thing. Oh wait, it's not on there. 30 bucks. So if you're looking to do this on your own, like for a 150 gallon, even if you consider it a fish tank, 150 gallon pond, that's a steal. 130 bucks to put it on the truck and we're going to go pay for it. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, thanks sure. for the help. Thank you. Let me hit this car. I'm gonna hit this car real quick, then I'll get to you guys. Sorry. So, we literally got so lucky here at Tractor Co. Supply. Um, their credit card thing wasn't working, so I had to pay in cash. I literally had 50 cents to spare. Got so lucky, I was like, I don't wanna drive back home to get stuff. Um, so yeah, so the 150 gallon tub was $130. So if you wanna do this on your own, that's, that's a really good deal for a, a tank that big or a pond that big. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked. And uh, we'll get back to you guys when we're home. Oh yeah, look at this thing in here. This thing's money. All right, so we got it down into the fish cave. Look at that. Fits like a glove right there. It's, it's, it looks pretty big down here. Um, then there's this, the other indoor ponds right over here. Still got to fix, fix the leak. And um, this big guy right here, the Paku, that's who's going in there. And he's picking on my gar, which is really bad. That, I mean, that's, he beat me. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, but um, so literally that thing barely fit through this little thing. All right, so I want it to be a little taller. So that's what we did, put cinder blocks down there. We got five cinder blocks, two on each corner, and then one in the middle. So that should be pretty stable. And then it's actually like basic, like really close. It's literally the same level as the pond now, which is sweet. So you'll be able to stand here, Paku in here with the turtle, because the turtle, I don't want the turtle to break my liner. Well, you know, rip it. And then all these giants will be in here, especially when I get this filled up. It's going to be ridiculous. Plus, I forgot about this. I put an LED, LED light in here, and it's like perfect. Like, look at this. Lights up the whole thing. So I'm super stoked. Um, so now let's 
Let's get some water in it and then uh, a little bit of gravel and smooth them over there. I still got to build a filter and I need to get a pump for that. I don't know if I'll get to that today or not, but you know, I'll make sure he has flowing water in here. But let's get to it. Some gravel from this pond into the new pond because first off, it's going to brighten up the pocket. The whole bottom's black and he's real dark. So I want to be able to see him easier. Second off, um, your gravel and rock holds beneficial bacteria, so it's going to help this pond cycle quicker. All right, so I originally was thinking, oh, I'll be able to siphon it, like, you know, suck on one end of a tube and fill this up, but I forgot that this water is going to be higher than that water for it to go in there. So we resulted to buckets or trash can pools without trying to scare everything in here. Um, but all I want to do... I'm also filling the pond up as I take water out, but all I want to do is get about half of this water into there and then fill this up with fresh water, the other pond up with fresh water, so it'll be like 50% water change. And he's in this water. El Agua. All right, so I don't have my big net. It's still muddy. I guess I could clean it. So while the water's low, I think I'm going to see if I can get them out and put them in. The water's about halfway full, and then I'll add more water once it's in. But, he's going to freak out, I already know this. He's so strong, there we go. Alright, I do have this net, if I can get his head in there and then pick him up. He's already ripped, he ripped through this net about a year ago, that's why there's a hole in it and I retied it. So might as well use my broken one. He's so strong. He's so strong. Oh. oh my god. You good? He's so strong. Oh my god. Check that out. Check that out. He's such a beast. I wanted to hold him. He's so strong. Good boy. Oh my god. He's so strong. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Look at that beast. Oh my god. He's actually got a good amount of room in here. And now I get to keep this guy. And uh, I'm going to fill the water up. So, uh, oh. so we got the floating dock hooked up. Baku's like we're checking it out. And so now that means I can add rows to ready to start. Ugh. Come on. She can come for the camera. Rose in here now. I got the big Paku down there and I actually added that Sydney Dotus cat right there. Um, so I finished it off. I think it turned out pretty great. I still want to decorate it with some plants and stuff and it'll look a lot better. Um, and uh, here's the filter we're working with. So I took a small trash can I'm gonna let you guys know if you wanna redo this yourself. Cheap and easy, big, effective filter. Um, I took a trash can. I drilled four holes in the front, one in the side to get water flow coming this way. Then um, inside of it, we actually got lava rock, bio balls, and um, a couple filter canisters or filter cartridges. So I put the pump back behind here so you don't see it. It pumps up through this black tube and it's actually going, to, it's gonna pump to the bottom, out the bottom, swirl around up through the media and out here and it's going to create a current a, a flow and i also got the heater in here so it's hidden and it's keeping the water warm um and i put that on top of a cinder block to make it tall enough but yeah this is the final product i'm pretty stoked how it came out it's the same level as my other pond which is pretty cool um but yeah especially with some plants to liven this up some fake and real plants it's going to look amazing and everyone seems happy in here um now the paku won't be beating up any of my guys in here and he's got a good amount of room to grow huge. I'm super excited how my second indoor pond turned out. And um, I'm actually I'm actually in a hurry. Otherwise, I would be decorating it. I gotta le I'm leaving here today soon for a huge trip coming up. Let's just say it's gonna be a lot warmer than it is here in Cincinnati, um, Ohio, and the fishing is gonna be a lot different and uh, might even be saltier. So. So make sure you subscribe because you're going to want to see this trip coming up and to keep 
um, see how the new pond evolves and the whole fish cave. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the tune. We now have a second indoor pond. I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's, you, you get more gallons for, uh, it's 100, I was, I was trying to say it. It's, gallons for Bryce. Yeah, that's what you <laughs>